as my train pulled into the station at Bellariva, I felt every bit as excited as the first day of my journey. A whole year. It felt like a lifetime. The places I'd seen, the people I'd met, of course, the forgotten treasures I'd given a new lease of life along the way. I'm a restorer by trade. Bringing our most beloved possessions back to life is what I love to do. I'd been traveling for months, working my way from one town to the next, fixing everything from family heirlooms to VCRs. Bella Riva was my chance to take a break. Unfortunately, that would have to wait until after I'd unpacked. The tools of my trade. No hope of restoring things without these. My parents took this after I made my first repair. It seems like a lifetime ago. Who doesn't love a scrunchie? Practical and stylish. My passport. Not many blank pages left now. Finally, I'd made it to Bella Riva. I'd come for the food festival, taking place in a few days' time. Of course, I'd need to earn enough money to pay for it, so I figured I'd head out the next day and find some work. My parents never wanted me to go. They wanted me to stay in their shop and have a simple, stationary life. I knew there was a world out there, beyond the four walls of our antique store, that I had to be a part of. I daydreamed constantly about the weird and wonderful places each of our antiques came from. I loved figuring out their stories, revealing the memories hidden beneath the screws and wires. My story in Bella... It was my first morning in Bella in the main square, meanwhile. As I handed out my flyers, I was starting to worry it was a little girl. My tape is broken and I can't- I tried to fix- Why did you do that? Batteries look like they need replacing. Luckily, I have some spares. When it finished, Izzy picked up the tape. Thanks, Maria. It's my mom. She, she's not here anymore. When Izzy's friends called for her, I usually preferred a check, but Izzy looked. She seemed like a happy kid. Part.
My first repair complete, I was exhausted when I got back. The address led me to a quaint li The front door was opened by a harried looking man, still dressed from a long day at the office. Are you Maria? My name's Joseph. I'm Isabel's father. I'm so sorry she bothered you. Ah. My father. It's a Will you be able to see the glue afterwards? I don't want people seeing the cracks. Sometimes I think my daughter should come with a warning label. Is this glue really strong enough to hold everything together? Thank you, Maria. It looks as perfect as it ever- Has Joseph put the statue back- Sorry. I'm a little- When I told my parents I wanted Joseph- My second day in Bellariva dawned bright and clear. Another beautiful. 